Hey, what's up? Welcome to Hack My Growth. Today, we're going to be talking about how to install or add structured data to a local business website. All right, let's go. Are you looking to grow your business, but you're not sure where to start? That's where we come in. Hey, so if you've been watching this channel for a while, maybe you've checked out some of our videos, I want to say thank you so much. We really do appreciate you being a part of this community. If you find it of value, please hit the subscribe button. Make sure you turn on notifications because we do publish new content each and every week. So today we're talking about structured data, and we've talked about that quite a bit on this channel. Um, but specifically today, I want to talk about adding structured data to a local business website. Now, I'm on the website schema.org, and this is the, the collective, the collaborative community between the major search engines in order to add structured data across the web because structured data helps the search engines index content. It helps them read content. Google and Microsoft and the index, these are all really, they're just bots and databases. And so they don't speak a specific language. They just take in characters, they translate that characters into some sort of meaning, they store it in the database, and really if somebody has the best, um, whether it be backlinks and, and the right content, and they kind of meet all the parameters of that specific algorithm, they're gonna rank higher. And when it comes to the way Google's shifting, we'll talk specifically about Google because they're the dominant one here, they are adding a number of different features to the search results. Like if I look right here, uh, today we're going to be looking at a dental website, okay? So if I go and I do dentist near me as my query, the first thing that's going to pop up, you're going to see some ads, but you're going to see this local pack here. It's going to have a, um, a map, which is going to give me an area of basically where I'm located at. It's going to give me some dentists that are close to me, close to my specific location. It's going to give me, you know, a couple of other sites here. It's also going to give me a people also ask for box. These are different pieces of content that are, pulled in and added uh, enhancements to using structured data, things like website and directions. And, um, you know, if you're um, a restaurant, this is where you put like your menu, things of like that, your hours, when are you open, what's your phone number, things of that nature. So I know, oh, this place is closing soon, so I need to contact them now. How does Google know that? Well, through structured data, through Google My Business. So you want to start by obviously having a Google My Business account. If you don't have one of those and you haven't verified your business through Google My Business, please do so now. It's pretty easy. Just Google Google My Business and fill out the information here. You know, go there and claim your business. You want to own your listing on Google. That's what these are right here. If I pull this out, it's going to you know give me uh, these these other businesses here. This is the Google My Business listing, right? Now, you want to start by owning this. And one of the most important pieces for any local business is your address. So this is where you're located at. But two other things are your phone number and your, your specific name. These are the things that Google is looking for and it's going to connect everything to. Maybe you've watched other uh, local SEO videos. Maybe you've watched one of our videos where we talked about something called NAP. This is name, address, and phone number. Those are critical elements to local SEO. And these are the areas we really want to make sure that we mark up when using structured data and adding structured data to our site. This is going to help for local businesses a ton. So if you've got a small business or you work with small businesses, local businesses, this video is specifically for you. Now, Google knows that schema.org is not always going to be the easiest thing. You know, you could come here and you could click schema.org and you could go here and find local businesses and you could read this um, this piece of content that they have on how to mark up sites and what to mark up and what you can mark up. There's a lot going on here. There's an example, so it is very helpful, but honestly, for most business owners, you're looking at this and saying, what is this? How do I possibly use this, right? So we don't actually have to go on here and try to like figure out what to do. Now, what is very helpful, Google does give us at the bottom some examples of what markup would look like. So this is without markup. These are the different types of markup. The one that Google really recommends and I recommend is called JSON LD. Really, you're just adding some data, like a data layer into the header of your website so it doesn't like mess with your code or anything like that. Uh, you're just really dropping this in here. So this is nice, but still, you've got to you know, work your way through all this to really understand it. Now, what Google's done is they've added something called the Structured Data Markup Helper. This is a very cool tool, and it's going to walk you through how to mark up your website. So today we're going to be looking at a dental website. Um, you know, this site is it's got some, maybe some redesign done to it. 
and we want to mark up this specific section down here. You know, this they've got you know the phone number here at the top, navigation, contact us. Um, but really, what we want to pull from is our name, our address, and our phone number, which are typically found in, in the footer uh, or the sidebar of, of, a, of a website. So I wanted to click and save this URL up here and go back to the structured data tool. I want to dump that URL right here. Then I also want to tell Google what I want to mark up. And today I want to talk about a local business and start tagging. Once you click that start tagging button, Google is going to pull the source code from that website and start to inspect it. Now, you might not see things like your playback error you know, on the video because what they're doing, they're just masking your site right now. They're actually not pulling down all of the code. So the first thing I want to do is look at where we want to mark up and so this is where our information is you'll notice over here it says my data items and it says local business and it's got all these different things that we can mark up now we can do everything from you know the things that we need right name address phone number but also things like ratings uh, if we've got testimonials things of that that nature those are very good to mark up as well um, this is also another reason you want to have Google my business because Google will pull in those reviews from Google my business as well so to make this real easy, all you want to do is highlight things. So right here, this is the business name, and I just click name. And you just see over here, it's been added over to my data items. Now for image, I want that to be the logo. So I'll just go ahead and click image. We're just going to keep working our way through all these different elements here. And we've got telephone number. Uh, if they've got an email address, you want to add that as well. Um, you know, Make sure you get everything right. Uh, address, you're going to do street address, locality, which is going to be your city, and then you're going to want to do your state as well as your zip code. Uh, now, it can be finicky doing it like this, right? So we're just clicking on things. It, it is easy. It is very helpful. It's very visual. But you can also do things like add missing tags. So we don't have United States here, but we want to go ahead and add that over here. Um, country and we're gonna put United States because we didn't have that in there. We also didn't have an, an email address but I know that we can probably find an email address for this site right um, you got to contact us for them um, but if we knew their email address we could add that in as well so they're using just contact form here. They are obviously on Google My Business. That's where you see the review section here, which is nice. But let's say they, they need an email address. You could add that in here. You can also do things like opening hours, days of the week, like what days of the week they're open. Now you notice down at the bottom, it says Monday through Friday um, over here on the website, right? And it says they're open from 7.30 to 4.30 p.m. Now, one thing you have to be aware of when you're doing structured data is you have to use the right syntax. You have to do it the way that Google and the search engines are expecting it. And this is sometimes where going to these examples in schema.org can be helpful. So right here, we've got opening hours, right? And they're showing the days of the week, MO-SA. That's Monday through Saturday, right? Now, those are things that, you know, you need to structure, you need to add like that. You also need to notice here that they're using military time. Right, so they they're starting at 11 a.m. and they're going to you know 14:30. Um, that's what 3:30. Uh, now uh, you, you guys can check my, my math there. That's probably off. 13. That's uh, 2:30. Um, and you want to make sure they're using a 24-hour clock because that's what they're using here. So coming back here, let's say I want to do days of the week. I could add missing tags and I can go here and do add opening time, date auto time detected and see if it will pull this for me. So it's MO through FR and it would be 7.30 to 4.30. Uh, let's make sure we have the structure correct. Thirty. All right. So as you're noticing here, I'm getting a little bit of an error. So this is for the the automatic tagging. So maybe that didn't work, right? So what I want to do is fix that and try again. Um, sometimes you're going to find these these issues in here. 
and maybe we need to do it advanced, right? So we're gonna do things like um, day. So we'll just do the days of the week right now. And you may be saying, man, this is, uh, this is a lot of time, right? But adding just the days of the week that you're open can be really helpful, right? Adding the time of day can be really helpful. Now, you might be getting these errors over and over again, which can be a little bit frustrating. So sometimes we just want to go the old-fashioned way and we delete this from here, and we can append this later. Once you've added everything you want in your URL and, and all the different areas, like we'll put the URL in there too. That's an easy one to add. You want to have the code generated for you. Now, this is where you've got a couple different options of how you can take this code and add it to your website. What you want to do first here is create HTML. All right, so once you're done, you want to take this code, and it's time to put it on your website. So what we're going to do is move to finish. Add structured data to your source code. Please enter your list the page. Use structured data testing tool, kind of telling you what to do next, right? Now, I want to take this code that Google's just given to me, and I want to copy it. And then what I want to do is I want to place it as high, right, uh, right next to the head open tag as I possibly can. This is structured data. It's not going to mess with our website. It's not going to mess with the code on our website. It's just data. Now, there's a couple ways to do that in WordPress. You can do it using something like Tag Manager and using one of our Tag Manager scripts that, that we've done before. Uh, we wrap it in this functionality. But let's say you don't want to go through all that hassle. You want to just go to your website. And let's say you're in WordPress, because most websites are in WordPress nowadays. You can do two things. You can either install a, a plugin like a header footer, which allows you to drop things in the header and the footer, or you can do the dangerous thing and go here into your themes editor. For most business owners, if you don't have any um, background in doing a theme editor, I'd stay away from there, and you can use a plugin in this case. The plugin of my choice is a plugin called header footer. Um, it's pretty lightweight and allows us to just inject code into the header and the footer of a website. I on most cases would just go in and add this to the code myself because I, I am a developer and I've been developing a lot and I know how to mess around with things. Um, but right here, header, footer, and post injections. Uh, very cool plugin, lots of great reviews. It is you know fairly updated. Um, but honestly it just does what it does. It's simple. Uh, just you know with any WordPress plugin make sure that you're keeping it updated. If you don't have WordPress then you just need to go into the head section of your website and add the code in. So once this has been added in, we want to go to header and footer. And right here, every page, you want to paste that JSONLD. There you go. There's the code. It's pasted in. And we're going to hit save. Now that it's been saved, we want to make sure that the structured data is actually firing. So before we've done the structured data helper, and now we want to do the structured data testing tool, which is slightly different. So here we're going to, once again, get our URL that we just added our structured data to. We want to go to the structured data tool and we want to drop it in here and run a test. If we've implemented this correctly, we are going to see the structured data pull in over here on the right side. So here we go. We've got web page, zero warnings. This is pulled in like from WordPress. Um, organization, zero warnings, again, put in from, from WordPress. Now we've got local business. Now there is one warning. Price range. Now this is a dental office, so we don't have a price range, so we're not going to add that. When a warning comes up, this is something that Google's kind of recommending that you put in there. But in most cases, in a lot of cases, you're going to be a services industry where, where just the price range is going to be different. But as you notice, we're a local business. This is who we are. This is the logo, the name, phone number. Everything that we just added is populating correctly, and it's doing it high in the site. Um, this is coming from the video object from, um, looks like uh, Vimeo. So this is something that we'll work on, structured data for Vimeo. So look out for that. Is gonna be a, a video coming to a neighborhood near you very shortly. All right, so after this, we, we know that the structured data is working. We know that, that it's showing up on the site and we can be rest assured that our site is now optimized in local search when it comes to that technical structured data being added. And we start now tracking this site over here uh, to make sure that it's going to show up in the rankings and start to really stick out and stand out 
uh, for our clients. Now you can also track all your structured data in Search Console. And again, we can talk about that in another video, but this is just how we build that structured data. And then we get it on our website, make sure that it's actually working. I hope you guys found this useful. If you have any questions, please let me know. And until next time, happy marketing. Thank you.